Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, Stevie Wonder Woman. I am said Stevie. Uh, hopefully I got the audio not syncing with the video problem sorted out. I didn't do anything, <laughs> so I'm just fingers crossed that that doesn't open again. So uh, what I'm talking about is uh, I just recorded, or not just, but uploaded earlier today a uh, Tuesday mail call and... I don't know. Uh, the, the audio was off for the first couple minutes. Um, I don't know. Something in the editing process. All I do is just smush the two videos together and upload it. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, so yes, I did uh, upload the Tuesday mail call where I got this sweet uh, Grady's Gear uh, Duck Boy t-shirt. Shout out to Chris, uh, Grady's Gear. Um, and I also got the Orion Solaris and some beard oil from Heathen's Grease. I got the, uh, M-Bomb Jerky Chip. Anyway, there's actually, uh, two packages that I received that I did not, uh, reveal. I figured I'd do a separate video on this video. So, uh, first one, uh, is an unpackaging and then a pretty cool unboxing. So, um, it's only fitting to use as the unpackaging and unboxing knife, the EMP EDC Nimble. This is V1. This little package right here comes from EMP EDC. First thing, a couple more uh, stickers of their logo. And I got me some... Patches. Now, what's cool about these patches is, will I be able to see what happens if I kill if I kill the light here? Kill that light, and I kill this light, and I darken the computer screen. Now we're all alone. It glows in the dark. Can you guys, is it picking that up? I think it is. Yes, uh, these patches. Um, okay, now I gotta find my way around in the dark. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a great idea, Stevie. Bear with me, folks. Oh, yeah, I can pause. Okay. Am I resumed here? Yes, I am resumed here. Uh, so these, uh, EMP EDC, um, uh, the Slenderman Atomic uh, uh, logos that they got. I got four of them. Uh, Glow-in-the-dark patches. Um, it's cool that they glow in the dark, but really what I'm trying to do is put together some small uh, little ranger eye patches for my, um, uh, my bag. This is my EDC bag. Um, so one of them is going to go on there. Uh, probably put one up on the truck. And then... Um, Probably do a, uh, include those in an upcoming giveaway. All right, so enough about the patches, which are awesome. They're available on uh, EMP EDC's website right now. This is the cool thing. So uh, this package just arrived today. Um, it came from one, um, you guys might have heard of him. Um, he's also another... Uh, he's got a channel, um, Neves, Knives or something like that. Yeah, some, something about, I think it's his last name. And, um, yeah, he talks about knives. I think he sharpens knives too. Neves Knives, yeah. He's got his wife, uh, Kara on with him every once in a while. Um, if you've never heard of him, definitely go, uh, check him out. Now, uh, shout out to, uh, uh, Jared... And Kara of Neves Knives. But um, these two things here are e from EMP EDC. Every man's pocket EDC. So these came, though, from uh, Lefty EDC. First one that we have here is another Nimble. And this is the... Uh, you have seen this all over Lefty's channel. This is the uh, Tuxedo uh, Reverse Frag uh, 
uh, DLC uh, black washed blade and uh, frag pattern. Um, titanium scales. So, as we all know, um, EMP EDC has been killing it with the Nimble. I am just one of many people that named the Nimble my 2021 Knife of the Year. And uh, John over at EMP EDC is going on a tear now at this point. Uh, he's done. So his first uh, knife was the Slenderman uh, OTF. And then he did the Nimble. He's had a couple of different uh, drops. Uh, I think he just recently had one uh, either last weekend or the weekend before. Um, he did the Thick Boy, uh, which is awesome. I also got the Thick Boy uh, sitting in my knife case. Love the Thick Boy. You all know he's been working on other stuff. And coming up, not this weekend, but the following weekend, I'll have links on um, uh, and everything in the description. So... Uh, this has a note here. Um, okay. So, this is the EMP EDC Nimble XL in, um, so, hold on here. Yes, this is the Nimble XL 3.5. So, you can already see, um, this is the prototype. Uh, because they have not dropped yet. A lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. So, here's the Nimble. Uh, Kevin sent uh, this one along just for uh, comparison. Um, you can see they are uh, consider This is a lot bigger. And you can already tell... So, let me back up. Uh, very similar in the sense that um, the construction of the uh, scale is absolutely uh, the same. Um, same, uh, pivot, same, uh, flipper, front flipper, or excuse me, same, uh, top back flipper, front flipper, but as you can see already before I deploy the blade, that has a fuller across the entire length of the blade and let's give it a flick. It's a sheep's foot. Yep. I looked a little weird when I did that. Um, this is the Nimble XL, uh, sheep's foot. And can you see that? That's got a mirror edge polish on it. Uh, this came from, uh, that guy, Jared, who does know a thing or two about sharpening. So let's just see here. Ooh, this is, uh, this is a fresh edge, if I'm not mistaken, by, uh, Jared. So I need to be careful. But, uh, just, uh, yeah, you, you give it a mirror edge polish there for sure. Um, already, without even checking the ergos or anything, I know that I'm going to want this. So, it's also eventually going to be, uh, available in a spear point, uh, like the standard nimble. Um, but I'm not sure if that goes on, um, I got the website pulled up here. Uh, frag talk black cross blade. I think that maybe the spear point is going to be available at the same time, but um, I don't want the spear foot, I want the sheep's foot, spear foot, spear point, drop point. I'm sorry, folks. This sheep's foot, uh, is exactly what I think needed was needed on this. Oh, he put a mirror edge on that, too. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Okay, I'm done sneezing. Um, I make the most ridiculous, uh, ugly faces when I sneeze, so I didn't want to put you folks through that. Sorry, I'm very chill and uh, relaxed right now. Um, it's been a long day. I went for a walk, so I'm not rushing this video. So, hope you already got your popcorn ready. Beverage check. Uh, this is some sparkling ice. Strawberry watermelon. I think it's one of the nastiest flavors ever. It's gross, but I wanted something fizzy and I'm, uh, no sugar, no carbs, no anything like that right now for Stevie. So it'll have to do back to the knife. So, uh, this is everything that you would expect in, uh, the nimble that you may or may not already have. 
but what you have already seen. Um, let's talk, uh, th again, this is just a first impression. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time with this knife because we are, uh, this note that I got in here is actually, uh, shows the path of travel. And, um, this was supposed to go to, uh, uh Thrasher before me. Shout out to Brandon Thrasher. He has not been well. Uh, just talked to him earlier today though. He's on the mend. Uh, so we should start seeing some, uh, content rolling out from him again. Again, shout out to, uh, douche number three of the Eliza douche crew. Um, but, uh... We're trying to get this, uh, uh, they're trying to get this into as many hands as possible before, um, too long. So I'm not going to be spending a lot of time with this. They asked for, uh, Kevin asked for three or four days. I think three days is going to be the max. Uh, so today's day number one. I'm going to carry it tomorrow, probably carry it again on, uh, uh, uh Thursday. And then I'm going to send it along. Um, I know. Okay. Alrighty. So let's back up. Um, let's talk, uh, I, I already know I'm going to like this and I already know I'm going to pre-order it. So honestly, uh, I'm just thankful I get to actually check this out before it's available, but, uh, action wise here. So, um, just like the, uh, uh, nimble V1, uh, very easy to access the lock bar. Um, ergos back here are great. Jimping is great. Got that awesome choil and... I think that this is an okay size knife. I, I, I've carried the Nimble, uh, my Nimble, um, six months-ish now. This knife size, this blade size is just fine for me. But having, being able to choke up and then still have that full, um, I don't know what the cutting, if this is a three, two point, it's about a three inch uh, cutting edge on it there. So even when you're choked up, uh, you got nice, but again, you can see when I'm choked up, I got a total full four on this. And even back here, I still got a full four. So um, in hand, this feels great. It's got some good jimping right there. Um, frag pattern is on point as always. Um, QSP is the OEM on this again. And um, QSP does amazing frag pattern work. What's... I already got some schmutz on that. Okay, that's not for me. There is a little mark on the blade, but that's not for me because I done just got it. We got some Jared goo on here. Just wiping it down here. Um, but QSP is killing it on the frag. It's not aggressive. Um, it looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. Um, it, it is very pronounced. But it is not uh, aggressive in the hand at all. Um, it's still coming with a... Uh, that looks... I believe... That is... Maybe the prototype just has a um, G10 backspacer. Because that does not seem like titanium. Maybe it is, but... Um, backspacer is not uh, uh, textured at all. So when you're back here, again, with the uh, ergos feels great in hand no um no hot spots at all uh this does look like it's the identical clip on there so um no changes on that um you don't i don't feel the pocket clip at all on this so not only are there no hot spots which again i've said before even if i feel the uh, pocket clip i don't consider that a hot spot um, but I, I, I don't, I don't feel it. So this knife is extremely comfortable in hand. If you have big hands, I, uh, like me, uh, XL, sometimes double XL hands. Um, I think that you are going to find this knife very comfortable. If you have small girlish hands, um, if you have daintier mitts, if your hands ain't so big, um, maybe the nimble is more the size for you. Or this is just going to feel like a big behemoth in your hand. But, um, no, uh, it, it feels good in my hand. I'm not going to do a comparison to anything else right now. Although I got some, I don't have too many other full-size knives in my hand that, uh, to, or you know, on my desk to compare it to. So I'm not going to really show a comparison. But, um, so yeah, we talked about, uh, my first impressions on the Ergos. I think the Ergos are great. I think the looks are amazing. I haven't uh, really uh, closed this yet, so let's check the action. 
a little bit scared of that edge not really let's see what happens so uh, again easy access to the lock bar drops to the nail shake shut finger uh, deployed uh, middle finger deployed no problem from the hole again disengage the lock bar little shake and it's home just like the nimble um so let's see uh so the detent feels good there let's check the uh fuller uh down lower still uh still a good detent let's try that one more time okay I i'm able to fail it from down there but who would come all the way down here to open the knife that's not gonna happen a little bit uh just shy of the hole on the fuller mm, not so much Okay, you have to give it a little bit more effort there, um, but uh, the hole uh, is, you know, it's basically just an elongated version of what's already on there. They just extended the fuller, um, so I think it adds great aesthetics. I don't know how, uh, you know, I guess for the people that would like to open, you know, not everybody uh, does cool uh, finger flips. Some people still traditionally open a knife like that. So that's good. That's good. Detent is, mm, I think, to, to be expected. It's definitely a little bit, feels a little bit lighter than the regular nimble, but uh, that's not a knock on it. Um, it just does have a little bit weaker... Uh, lighter, not weaker, lighter. Let's see if we can, yep, we can Friday night uh, gas station uh, deploy it. I don't mind that. That's not a bad thing to me. Um, uh, by the way, this did uh, come uh, centered. So, um, skipping around, but no blade play on that. Uh, it doesn't feel loose, but... So, yep. So... Those are the ways to deploy it so far. Again, the back, uh, the back flipper, that's snappy as all get out. It flies out uh, with that. Um, I can't, I'm sure I can fail it, but I mean, I'm light switching this thing. No problem whatsoever. Uh, not so much a push button, definitely more of a light switch uh, action there, but that is very snappy on there. And then, of course, it's also a front flipper. So, I mean, this feels just like a uh, the Nimble, which I love. Just bigger. Imagine that. He, he, he didn't deviate. John didn't deviate. And went ahead and just made, you know, gave it a better, better, different blade shape and a larger size. This is a win for me. So, first impressions, um, I like this. And I'm, I'm glad that I get to handle this version. So, I'm not typically into uh, coated blades or black wash blades. That's not really my jam. Um, the only one that I don't mind it on is my J-Cape uh, V3.5. It's all murdered out. Um, but now that I have this in hand, I'm not minding it. Although I would, if I'm going to get the Nimble uh, XL, I would like to get it in a uh, similar uh, colorway. Uh, this is black stonewash or black uh, frag with satin blade. And um, I have uh, stonewashed hardware on there. I would like to try to match it to this. But um, yeah. Looking at uh, the inside of the knife. Yep, same uh, similar relief pockets in there. So it's not too... Oh boy. Well, that was dumb, Steve. Do you see how I just reached across like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it's mine now. I guess it's mine. It bit me. Because my own stupidity what did i what was i doing there not paying attention that's what happens safety first folks don't fuck around or you get bit but impromptu uh impromptu uh plug for a, a company i have nothing to do with 
So let me just wipe this down. I got a little paper towel there. Whenever this happens, this is something that I got in uh, uh, one of my Tag Pack subscription box a while ago. This is a uh, combat ready ointment uh, from Doc Spartan. So it's basically just a, um, yeah, see, it got me good. Man, I'm an idiot. Freaking idiot, Stevie. Idiot. Um, I mean, it's not horrible, but I am bleeding and I'm using a piece of paper to wipe it off. I'm going to pause again, folks. Okay, so, um, this stuff, uh, is good. Uh, it's a great ointment to put on your cuts, but, um, it's not stock. Look, these, this was nothing, uh, of an, of a cut, really, but just to be safe, and I don't want to bleed all over camera, um, I went and got some band-aids from a boo-boos, but, um, pain don't hurt, so... Anyway, I think what I was uh, in the middle of doing is uh, looking at the relief cuts that are done in the um, uh, handles, uh, the titanium scales. Um, I think that's where I left off. So, um, again, guys, uh, this is everything that you would expect it to be. Oh, now the Band-Aid's coming off. Okay. The Nimble XL is going to be everything you expect it to be. Um, again, I'm going to spend a couple days with this. Uh, not very long. There's going to be no long-term review of this. But, um, yeah, it's great. Uh, I think John did a really good job. So these are going to be dropping. Uh, the the pre-sale or the pre-order is going to be dropping. Uh, they're going to be $299. And um, you can get this on in Sheep's Foot uh, in this uh, color, uh, colorway here. Um, but you can also get it in the sheet foot, uh, black frag, bronze, satin blade. Um, look, I'm not going to list all these off. I'll leave a link for you guys to go check it out and see. But there's one, two, three, four, five. There's eight different variants uh, that are going to be on sale uh, for pre-order. Uh, starting at $2.99 on uh, Saturday, February 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific. So uh, it's limited to 500 spots. So uh, this is definitely going to sell out. So... Um, you guys, uh, we're gonna have to be quick on this if you want one, but, uh, again, you got a full three and a half, uh, inch, uh, blade, uh, nice, uh, nice flat grind on the, that, um, again, a bunch of different colorways. I'm not going to go into anything else really. Um, yeah, you'll see the uh, link to the description, um, follow, uh, EMP EDC on, uh, Instagram, which will also be linked uh, in here uh, or in the description uh, for updates on everything. John is great with giving um, product updates on not just the Nimble XL, but everything that that dude's got uh, in the works. So, um, yeah, this was a, a good, good first impressions on me. Um, I'm probably a little biased, honestly, because, again... Knife of the year for 21, 2021 was the Nimble. It's smaller uh, predecessor. So I knew going into this that I was going to probably like it. And for all the right reasons, I do. There's nothing about this knife that says, uh-uh. So if you already have a Nimble and you're looking to get something bigger, I think you're going to like this. This That's... uh. Honest, uh, honest opinion on this because I think it's great and I think it would be great to carry uh, matching um, nimbles as a primary secondary. So um, you know, I'm gonna get one. Um, also, I you know I just really want to support EMP EDC. Uh, I've talked about it ad nauseum, but uh, John is a local Pacific Northwesterner, uh, just a little bit south of me, and. Um, I just think that uh, they're a great company, great customer service. That's one of the things that absolutely uh, stands out to them, about them to me. John is a great guy, and uh, yeah. So that's I, I. I mean, do I need to do another follow up video on this? 
I think I'm just going to spend uh, some time uh, carrying it around just to feel it in pocket uh, over the next uh, day or so. Probably record a couple of uh, maybe some shorts uh, or an Instagram reel or two, but this might be the actual only video that you see from me until I get to do the unboxing of my very own to keep. So I think I covered pretty much anything uh, and everything. So uh, look out for other reviews or and first impressions on this. Uh, I know Kevin uh, Lefty EDC has one. I didn't watch it because I didn't want to be influenced by it. Um, uh, I know uh, Jared Neves has one out uh, as well. Um, I've seen a couple of his Instagram reels uh, already on this, uh, which were really dope. Uh, I think he did a sharpening uh, reel on this, so surprise, surprise, that's why it's so fucking sharp. Uh, it's literally freshly uh, sharpened. Um, and my dumbass cut myself. Anyway, don't worry, Thrasher. That's who it's going to next. So I was talking about earlier... Uh, God, I was so close to ending it, folks. So close. Um, watch the other uh, content that's going to be on this so you can see uh, what they're all going to say. But uh, the path of travel, uh, this knife goes to um, Brandon Thrasher next. So look for his review on this coming soon. Um, and yeah, EMP EDC Nimble XL 3.5. This is the sheep's foot. Pre-sale, January 19th. Not pre-sale, pre-order. January 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific. All those details will be linked in the description. If you have any questions about the Nimble, I am not the foremost Nimble authority, but um, I have spent a lot of time with them. I got another one, too. Uh, that's uh, Grumpy's checking it out. Grumpy Gun Grunt. Shout out to Grumpy Grunt. Uh, he's checking out uh, my other Nimble right now. Um, but if you have any questions about uh, EMP EDC, let me know. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe one of you lucky folks randomly that leaves a comment. If you've watched it this far. Hmm. Leave a comment about... You know what? Just leave a comment. I'm going to randomly pick what I think is the best comment. And if you want one of these EMP EDC uh, little patches and a sticker, I'll contact you and let you know. It's going to be completely biased, folks. I'm going to tell you right that right now. Um, I'm going to pick a comment. Uh, so make it entertaining. Do something entertaining uh, in your quote um, or your comment. Because, yeah... Um, I'm going to, uh, pick a random comment in this video and, um, get a hold of you and see if you want a patch and a sticker. So, no criteria, just try to be entertaining. For some of you, that's already happening. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to play favorites a little bit, so we'll see where, uh, my, um, loyalties lie. <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Um, until the next one. I didn't even check it. Left-handed. See, I'm reaching for my cursor with my right hand. And I flip. I flick the other nimble. Left-handed, no problem. That is not a problem. At all. You see that? I'm not even left-handed. And starting the review over again from the left-handed point of view, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not. But uh, until the next one, thanks for tuning in, and deuces.